Hi guys! Welcome to episode one of the Cafe Bean Counter Knits podcast. My name is Jessica. I live in the Phoenix, Arizona region, and I am here to talk to you about all of my knitting. First, what am I drinking? I'm just drinking some coffee in my team cuff down that I got from the Crazy Sock Ladies um, spreadshirt shop. And it's just got almond milk in it. I'm not a big sweet person. I'll do the one pumpkin spice and the one peppermint mocha every now and then, but for the most part, I really enjoy just plain coffee with almond milk. So today I have a few finished objects that I finished this week. The first one is some DK weight socks. These are the Freckled Whimsy DK Yarn of the Month for October in the colorway um, Autumn Breeze. Yes, I think this is Autumn Breeze. They come with a contrasting mini and I think it was a six row repeat on um, these ones. These ones knit up so quickly. I absolutely love them. The next finish ob finished object that I have is, or maybe, you know what? I think these were by the willow tree. Sorry, <laughs> these are by the willow tree. These ones were autumn breeze, I think. <laughs> um, these are also Freckled Whimsy October Yarn of the Month Club. I decided, this is my first month getting it, I decided I am going to knit them up right away before the next set comes. And my next, you'll see it in acquisitions, my next set came on Friday. So, here is, um, <laughs> I believe this one is by the Willow Tree. And it came with a contrasting green mini. I absolutely love these colors. And this one knit up so fast. I could not believe how fast this knit up. It's so beautiful. So that's all the finished objects that I have that I've been working on. I was doing the Stephen West MCAL, but I frocked that. I was not loving that at all. Um, it just wasn't cohesive to me. So... Uh, in the next couple podcasts, I'll share what I'm going to be doing with that yarn. But my next work in progress is in a bag by Daisy Girl and Company. It's a super cute Halloween bag. Yeah, Halloween is over, but I still have these in here. And it's got pumpkins, and so it's November. So, And I don't think I'd said the date. Today is November, November 6th. So I have, I am using Leading Men Fiber Arts in the colorway show, or the, it's a showstopper um, yarn. And the colorway is called Drag Queen. It's so beautiful. This is in one of my cozies by Nitty Natty, one of the yarn cozy, yarn cozy light that I made. I use my row one minis to make this. And this is just a vanilla sock. I am just past the heel. This is knit on 2.25 millimeter needles, US one. I liked, I just started doing the shadow wrap heel and I really enjoy that. So I've been just past the heel and about to start on the foot. I have about 50 rows, 55 rows on the foot to go, and then I will be done with this sock, and then I will cast on the second sock. So that's whip number one. Whip number two is, and I'm very excited about this one, this is the Whidbey, I think that I'm saying that right, it's by Wool and Pine Design, the Whidbey bag, and I have one part of the drawstring where you put your eye cord through here, one part done. And second part just started this morning. This 
you do a provisional cast on, so that's why there's a different color here, and then you join it up and knit the bag. So I'm going to be working through that, and that should be a finished object in my next episode. And my last whip, which had been in hibernation because I was, like I said, I was doing the MCAL, but I decided to frog that, is the Campside Cardi by Alicia Plummer. And I am doing it in Vintage DK Barocco in the colorway Smoke. Yeah, it says Smoke on here, but it says color 2106. And I am on the first chart, repeat. I have split for sleeves. I'm doing a really big size because I want it super oversized and com comfy and cozy. And um, so yeah, there's not much. You can see some of the eyelets here from the first repeat. So I'm hoping to pick this back up and get this done because here in Arizona, it's just now starting to get cold. It's been like in the 40s at night and the 70s during the day. So I'm excited about getting this on so I can start wearing it while I'm at work because our office is very cold. So that's all my works in progress. Um, I do have some uh, future cast-ons. So um, a friend of mine from back home where I live at, where I used to live in, in Indiana, asked me if I would make her a hat, and of course I will, because she's a dear friend of mine. So I have caked up Mal Malabrigo Rios in the English Rose colorway, and I'm going to make a hat. I'm not sure on the pattern yet, so if you have any good suggestions for something that's like a semi-solid hat, just let me know below. And I also caked up another one. This is um, Earth Yarns. It's a worsted in their, I think it's color 4057, but it's like a tealy color. I'm also going to make one for her mom. Her mom has been sick and in the hospital, and I know blue is comforting, so I decided that I would um, make a blue hat. All right. One other thing, because it is Sunday, I have, last week on my birthday, I cast on the Coziest Memories blanket, and I just have one square. <laughs> one square, and I know what yarn this is. This is a Yarnable December um, Grape Crush colorway. So yeah, I just have one square. That's all I did, and I plan on adding some more today. All right, acquisitions. So I have a couple of acquisitions. The first is, is I got my Chowgu shorty set so I can do the sleeves on my cardigan. I purchased this at the Looking Glass uh, yarn shop in Santa Fe, New Mexico when I went for the uh, Mountain and Fiber, Mountain and Wool Fiber Festival back in the end of September, beginning of October. So this finally came in, they shipped, they ordered it and shipped it to me. Next, um, it was my birthday last um, last weekend, and one of my really good friends, she's a knitting friend, I actually met her on an, a knitting uh, membership, and she sent me a couple of things. I'm just going to show the yarn stuff. She sent a couple other things like stickers, but this one is called, in a card, this is Sinful Yarns. It is fingering weight, 85, 15, in the colorway Furby. This is so pretty. I love this. I love pinks and the purples and the, and the neons that are in here. It's so pretty. This one is Malabrigo Sock in the colorway 136. Sabduria. I'm going to just show it right here. I don't want to butcher it because I will butcher it. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful purple. Beautiful, beautiful purple. The next thing um, 
I was looking at Instagram one day and I saw that McKaylee of Breaking Yarns was had listed her Christmas yarn. So, of course, I had to pick it up. It's absolutely gorgeous. She gives you a little cute little stitch marker with your purchase. This is called Dog House. It's a sock DK, 7525. So pretty, so pretty. Lastly, I am part of the Freckled Whimsy Month Yarn of the Month Club, and my November came, uh, I think, this week. This is the first one. This one is called Vintage Photograph, and this one is 75-25 fingering weight, 460 yards. I love the brown, and I love, this is a eight stripe repeat. I just absolutely love this color. This is so beautiful. The next one is um, their DK. And these are all on their serendipity base. So this one's called Humble Heart. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's a eight stripe repeat. And I love this color mini. It almost reminds me, it almost reminds me of this color right here. They're pretty close. It just is just a little bit lighter. But it's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I believe that's all that I have to share for my first podcast. Um, not really reading much. Um, it's been kind of busy. We just got back from um, a couple of trips. Uh, so... But I have been kind of watching, you know, catching up on YouTube podcasts and watching Grey's Anatomy. I finished the Dahmer series. Um, I think that's about it. I guess this is going to be a short first video. So episode one, Cafe Bean Counter Knits podcast. You can also find me on Instagram as Cafe Bean Counter Knits podcast. Or no, not podcast, but Cafe Bean Counter Knits. And Cafe Bean Knits on Ravelry. Um, so if you like this video, like and subscribe. No pressure. I'm a little awkward, but that's okay. Um, I will try to record maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, depending on how, many, how much progress I make on my projects. I do a full-time job. Um, so I don't get to knit all day, but that's it for now. I hope to see you next time. Bye.